Hi, I'm Derek McPeters. I'm the Vice President of the International Watercross Association. And I'm here today to kind of show you what it takes to make a snowmobile run on water. I race in the Pro Stock Division, and I also race in Pro Open. Uh, this machine right here is a 2013 Pro RMK. It's 800cc. Um, kind of first and foremost, some of the modifications that we do is we take the A-arms right here and we narrow them up. I'm running 36 inch A-arms. Uh, some people are running a little bit smaller, uh, 34, 32 inch A-arms. Uh, we also change the skis. We go to these shorter style skis. They help us turn a little bit better in water for ovaling. Um, it's not a necessity. You can run with your stock skis, uh, but we find these work a little bit better. We also take in, on the front end, we run a little bit shorter shock. Uh, gives us a little bit uh, lower stance, which helps us turn over in the water better. Um, as you can see, it basically looks like a stock snowmobile other than the seat is removed. Uh, we've also, for just ease, I've taken and put a smaller gas tank on it. Um, so what you can do, you can take your, your normal snowmobile that you ride in the winter, do just a tiny bit of clutch work, change the jetting. Um, this machine is fuel injected, so I don't have to change any jets. Uh, the computer does everything for me. And uh, seal it up. We put a little bit of silicone around where all the belly pans meet, keep some of the water out. And that's basically all you have to do to get it to go across water. Um, it's, it's a very simple process. It can be done in one night. Um, so it's not very difficult at all. A lot of people ask us how a snowmobile can stay up on the water. Um, kind of when you think about it, it's a 450 pound, basically piece of metal that, that stays afloat on the water. And the physics behind it are, is we have inertia moving and the track is constantly moving and as you're going you never break the surface tension of the water. So that's kind of like the scientific high school version of how it works. Um, and basically all you need is just just enough speed and you can skim across the water. Uh, at about 30 miles an hour you can start going across water. Um, these machines here in the Pro Open class, we're hitting around 80 miles an hour on the water. Now, a lot of people also ask us what happens if they sink. Um, and no, the first answer we always, or the first question we always get is, is it wrecked? And no, it is not wrecked. Um, if you shut it off before it fully enters the water, it won't be wrecked. Um, if you're holding it wide open and you go under, bad things are going to happen because water doesn't compress. But basically all we do is uh, we take apart, we take the side panels off or the hood off depending on what kind of sled you have. Um, we pull the spark plugs out, we drain the gas, we drain the oil. Uh, some sleds run oil injection, some don't, this particular model does. Um, we tip it on its side, we pull it over a few times, get all the water out, we add fresh gas, and pull start it over and it starts right up. So it's basically a very simple process. We can usually have it done in five to ten minutes, we can have it running again. 